Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. So we're going to finish up the altered book that we've been working on for the past couple days. And um, yeah, hopefully we can get it completely finished. I'm not sure if we will or not, but we left off here, as you remember. Uh, we were just matting all the pages, so then we can go back and play with them. So this particular collection, if you did not watch yesterday's video, is called Darcel. It is from Prima. Uh, here is the 12 by 12 paper pad for that. It is by Prima Marketing and it's called Darcel. And it is a nice, rich navy blue with a burgundy color. So this is where we left off. We're going to go ahead and finish matting all of the pages and then we'll go through and see what kind of uh, things we can do with the scraps because I have a lot of cutoffs from these 12 by 12 pages. Because I was able to get um, two inside pages done per one 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so I'm just going around the edge and I am using Fabri-Tac because I don't want the glue to change the texture of the paper. I don't want it to warp the paper. So I am using Fabri-Tac. It is not a water-based glue. Uh, Fabri-Tac is an acetone based glue. Okay. And also, if you have not watched yesterday's video, um, the all of the pages, all the book pages here, as well as these pages have been inked and prepared for going in the book. So anyway, how are you guys doing? I hope everyone is doing well. All right. So we're doing good. Um, I'm actually waiting for my Stamperia package to get here so I can renew some of the listings that have sold out. And because uh, I'm doing, um, I'm going to do two videos today. I might do a third. I'm not sure. But I'm going to do two videos today and try to get a little bit ahead because I didn't record at all this weekend, this past weekend. Um, and so what I like to try to do is do, you know, two videos a day, get a hat a little bit, and then that way I've got the weekend off, if you will. Um, I still fill orders, not on Sunday, because the mail doesn't run on Sundays. But, um, but I do, you know, just hang out and you know, play with my kids and my family and watch TV and, you know, take a walk or, you know, whatever. Whatever the case may be. Let me get to this side. Yeah. So how are you guys working on the challenges? I know there's a lot of challenges going on uh, this year. Um, there is a tag challenge specifically for slow stitching. I haven't started that one yet. I do plan on doing that. I have not started. Um, and then there is Roxy's challenge. Uh, she's got a weekly challenge every week. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, and then there is, um, the planner challenge as well. It's the collage challenge on, um, it's a weekly challenge as well. Um, let's see. I think, I think that might be it. There might be another one. I'd have to look in my, my, uh, notebook. So I have a notebook where I've got all the challenges and everything written down. Um, but I think, I think there's just those. Okay. 
at least that I know of. There's obviously probably way more than that, but yeah. Yes. Um, all right. So yeah, I'm, I'm starting, <laughs> I am starting to catch up on the challenges, um, but I'm also still getting behind a little bit because I'm doing other things, not just the challenges, you know? So like, for instance, this altered book, this altered book actually started out as one of the challenges. I believe it was like week three or four for Roxy's challenge, I believe it was the uh, altered book cover, which I'm glad it, she, she had that challenge, honestly, because I had bought books from the Dollar Tree specifically for the purpose of altering. And I just hadn't gotten to it yet. And then lo and behold, there's this challenge. And I was like, whoa, that's awesome. So yeah, um, that one's nice. I like that one. I think that might be too busy though, which is why I picked that one instead. I also need to go and do a live video because I haven't done a live for my Patreons in a minute with, you know, the whole last couple weeks of January being as crazy and as hectic as they were. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. Um... Yeah, I haven't done a live video in a minute either, so I need to do one of those, which I probably do this evening. And if you don't already know, I do live videos for my Patreons. Uh, they are not scheduled, they're sporadic, and they're just kind of here and there everywhere. They're all over the place. But when I do do the lives they are normally around 7 p.m eastern standard time normally There we go. All right. So I have, I obviously have not started my, um, my grab bags yet because I literally just turned the camera off for yesterday's video and then turned it right back on for today's video because I wanted to get this uh, finished up and also because I like to try to do um, during the week I like to try to do more than one video a day so I can try to get ahead a little bit um, and that way I can have the weekends you know to myself to my family and such like that um, but yeah so I haven't done that yet I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a giant tote into my living room with a huge array of all of the different laces that I have. And I'm going to create a giant tote full of snippet pieces. And then I'm just going to use that giant tote full of snippet pieces and create grab bags. I think is how I'm going to do that. Not entirely sure yet, but that is what I had in mind. Because I can sit down, I can work while spending time with my family. Because all of my all of my kids, including my husband, loves watching um, Netflix together. And sometimes we get shows that everybody likes to watch. Like The Good Doctor was one that everyone liked to watch. Um, Grey's Anatomy is another one that everyone likes to watch. 
Uh, and then sometimes we get shows that, you know, uh, one of my daughters and I will like to watch, or my son and I will like to watch, or both of my daughters and I will like to watch. Um, like, I don't remember what it's called, uh, but it's, uh, the, the wing, the win X, I think saga, uh, it's about fairies, but they are in like a school basically. And there's only one season. Uh, but my son and I watched that one together and, um, uh, let's see Heartland. Heartland is another one that both my girls and I like. I normally actually watch Heartland with my youngest daughter because my oldest daughter has way more free time than I do. And she is way ahead, which is weird because I normally watch faster than she does. Um, because I'll sit in front of the TV and watch stuff while I'm doing other things. Um, you know, cooking dinner or, you know, cleaning up or even working. Um, not necessarily in my office cause I don't watch Netflix in my office. But, um, but like I'll take uh, things into the living room and work on in the living room, normally like snippets or creating snippet pieces or, you know, stuff like that. All right. So there's not a whole lot of pages left. Ah, oh, this is turning out so nice. I like this so much. And I think maybe the next one that I want to do, I want to um, mat each one with coffee dyed paper and kind of embellish with the scrapbook papers or whatnot. I think might be another option for creating an altered book. I think that might be fun as well. Okay. Just trying to line that up. But I love these papers. They're so pretty. Um, it looks like we only have a couple left. And it looks like we might be decorating in the next video, actually. Um, I underestimated the amount of work that was still left to do in just matting the pages. But I think what we're going to do with the decoration is... Um, do some pockets. I definitely want to add a pocket or two in here. Um, I want to add uh, some lace, not a whole lot, uh, because lace does make it quite chunky. Uh, definitely add journal cards and um, maybe external embellishments. Uh, meaning like um, clips and such that uh, or cards and envelopes that can be clipped in but not permanently adhered into the book. That way, um, whenever I ship it, what I can do is I can take those out and I can kind of create like a little packet, if you will, of all of the external embellishments and that way you can kind of put them wherever you want, whether it's in this particular book or a different book altogether or a different journal or a different project or use them separately or, you know, whatever. I think that might be a good idea. We could just make a whole bunch of embellishments to go like as a pack to go with this book. That'll be fun. Instead of trying to put them all in the book, we can just like make it to go with the book like corresponding with the book and you can either use it with it or not you know once you buy it you do it whatever you want with it i've actually bought a couple journals where they had a whole bunch of embellishments and such in them i take all the embellishments out 
and then I create the journal or I make the journal into whatever it is I want it to be for. Um, now, some of the journals are just so over embellished that you actually can't use them. Um, which is one of the reasons I create the journals the way I do, because I want them to be pretty and I want them to be something that you can look at and it's, you know, gorgeous to look at. But when something is so over embellished, it makes it really hard to use it. And, you know, some people buy journals to look at. Some people buy journals just for the artwork and I respect that. And I do the same thing. You know, I buy journals to look at and whatnot. But I also make journals to use because I use journals and I have bought, oh, uh, let's see. I have one, two, three, four, five. I have bought five journals out of the five journals that I have bought from other people. And that's just looking at my shelf out of the five journals that I have bought from other people. I use one because it's the only one I can use. And because it's the only one that doesn't have um, pages made of lace, which as pretty as that is, it's not functional, you know? So, is it this one? No, it's not this one. It is this one. Yeah. So anyway, as pretty as that is, it's just to have a full journal full of pages made of lace isn't, doesn't seem functional to me. It's gorgeous to look at. Absolutely stunning to look at. Which is why I've bought the ones I've bought. But like I said, I enjoy using journals just as much as I enjoy looking at them. For me, I think a journal can be one of two things. It can be a piece of artwork to be enjoyed just by looking at it, or it can be a functional piece of artwork that can both be enjoyed to be looked at as well as used. Because when you use a journal, do you know how, like, really cool it is to go back and look at something that you've written in like three years ago, four years ago, six years ago. That's really, really cool. I enjoy doing that. I need to put this to the edge a little bit. I think what I might do is bloop. I'm gonna push it that way. All right. Okay. And yep. Yeah. Let's say this one little spot right here still needs a little loving. All right. We're just going to hold that up for now because I don't want it to pull back off. And then this is the last page, actually. So then we can figure out what we're going to do. We can add a couple belly bands. That would be fun. And see, that's why I think the decoration um, makes it, it takes a lot of talent, I think, to create journals, whether it is the, this is really pretty to look at journal, or this is really pretty and I can use it journal, or whether it's just, you know, a functional journal, like it's, it's not overly attractive necessarily, it's, but it's incredibly functional. Like, look at the manufacturers that create journals. They wouldn't do it unless they, the product sold, right? 
And those products sell because of the function of the item. And, I mean, it takes a lot of talent to create things like that, I think. And I think sometimes we forget just how much work goes into making stuff like this. I guess the point is to give yourself some credit when you're making journals and to try to understand when you're buying journals, what you're buying the journal for. Are you buying it so you can look at it and it can sit on a shelf and be pretty and, you know, be a piece of artwork? Or are you buying it because it's functional? I don't even know what started this particular tidbit of conversation, but it's definitely informative, I think. Got some glue right there. It's dried. It's not adhere or it's not um, messing with the pages at all. But so the pages are done. Okay. So I think I almost want to round the corners. I almost want to round the corners to this thing. Not the cover. Although that would be cool too. But the inside. Mm. I don't know what I want to do. But yeah, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for ways to add like belly bands for one or pockets like this can be a pocket right here to actually do that. All right, let's see. Grab. I don't think I need a wax pen for this. I just need a pencil or something. Uh, apparently, I don't have a pencil or something. Uh, come here, pencil. Oh, pen works, I guess. All right, so. I'm just going to mark this right there. Okay. And I'm going to make two of these. Okay. Because I'm going to put one on the other side. So let's see if we can find another piece of pipa. That one's pretty. Is that big enough? Nope. This one came from the A4. I think. I don't remember that or I cut the the other things weird like oh that would be cool to match this and that and then we can put this one here yeah let's do that Although my butterfly will be upside down if I flip it over that way. I don't want to do that. Do I have another one of these? I probably do. These are all of my cutoffs that I've got. Um, from this collection, the Darcel collection. So these are my templates for the pages. And I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those just yet. But as of right now, I'm not going to do anything with them. All right, there's... Ah, there we go. Now that one's upside down too. Well, part. All right, so that one will be upside down too. So we don't want that one. That would make a nice belly band or a pocket because it's nice and plain. So we'll leave those out. Oh, I like that one. I like all of them. Oh, that one's, it's the same. I think no matter what, we're going to end up with the same thing. So might as well just take this one since it's already cut the right width. All right. So let's do this over there. 
and oh, well, it's almost cut the right width. And oh, I have an idea. What if I cut like a a design or something? Like a swirly swirl. Ow! Or I could beat up my hand. That works too. Eura. Uh, that's a stamp. That's a ziggy zaggy. There's a kind of a swirly swirl. Uh, I don't want that one. Hmm. I like this one better. All right. So I'm just going to cut the edge off here. Because that way, if I hate it, <laughs> I can um, go back and cut a straight edge on it, off of it. guess it would make a little bit more sense if I were in camera. There we go. Oh, missed the spot. Okay. You need that out. This and this. All right. I also got some more ink um, or a re-inker for my for my pad here because it's it's a little dry I feel like because this is a darker color but it normally takes a great deal for me to get that darker color it's supposed to be a darker color All right. Poof. All right. So there's one. There's one. All right. So we're going to put that there and then put the other one on the other side. And we're going to call it a day for today. Well, assuming my glue wants to come out of the bottle, that would be great. Okay, I just line that up right over here, just like that, whoosh, squish, and voila, okay. all right, and then flip over to the back, and we can make a belly band, or we can make another pocket, um, I think, I think we'll just do another pocket. Yeah. All right. And there we go. Okay. And that is it. Okay. So I I'm not sure if I'm going to do the added decorations on camera or not. So y'all will have to let me know if you like seeing stuff like that. 
But, um, but yeah, so for all intents and purposes, this book is done. Um, so there's a little pocket here. There's a little, little pocket here. And then that's it. Um, I'm not sure if I want to close this completely because it's actually a really nice size. Like it sits nicely. Uh, book it just sits there nice and pretty, pretty. So anyway, uh, let me zoom out one so you guys can get the, there we go. Um, but yeah, that's it. So yeah, anyway, thank you guys so much for joining me and finishing up this altered book. I hope you guys liked the process and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye guys.